Now we see the large outer calorimeter, the hadronic calorimeter. This device is used to measure the energies of a set of particles called hadrons that includes neutrons, protons, and mesons. It is a large array of interleaved steel and scintillator sheets called tiles. A scintillator is a material which radiates light when exposed to a charged particle. When a high-energy hadron, like a proton, passes through the steel, it interacts with the atomic nuclei. These nuclear reactions lead to the production of more particles, which initiate further interactions, leading to a shower of particles. The particle shower which is produced enters the scintillator, causing it to radiate light. Long fibers then carry the light to devices where the light intensity from many tiles is measured and converted into an electric current. Using the intensity of light, it's possible to measure the energy possessed by the high energy hadron which entered the hadronic calorimeter. Particles known as muons can penetrate through the calorimeters and reach the outermost part of Atlas, known as the muon spectrometer. The muon chambers in Atlas cover a surface of several football fields. One segment of the muon chamber contains many small tubes filled with gas. As a muon passes through these tubes, it leaves a trail of electrically charged ions and electrons which drift to the sides and center of the tube. The circles show the starting point of this drifting in each tube. By measuring the time it takes for these charges to drift from the starting point, it is possible to determine the position of the muon as it passed through. From particle collisions like this, Atlas scientists can explore the fundamental processes that rule all matter in the current universe and in the very early universe.